Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram and today we are going to be doing my what's in my hospital bag video. I am currently 36 and a half weeks pregnant so um, I thought I best crack on and actually do this because I'm going to be full term in like three days. Basically I've split the two bags so what I'm taking for the baby and then what I'm taking for myself and my partner into two separate bags so I will go through what I'm taking for the baby in the first bag and then what I'm going to take in my bag separately. I should mention that a lot of the stuff that I am actually going to be taking has been gifted to me as part of a uh, PR package that I received over on Instagram and a lot of the stuff is from a company called something a little bit different and they do these beautiful hospital boxes they're called the yummy mummy hospital boxes and I absolutely love it so much so I'll let you know what is from that box if you're interested but I've also done a load of stories over on my Instagram if you haven't checked out my pregnancy highlights before definitely check that out because I've got like from weeks 8 to 16 and then week 17 to 30 and then weeks 33 onwards and like there's loads of little gems in there if you're pregnant going through your pregnancy and you're like looking for recommendations and that kind of thing loads of stuff on there what I'll do is write a list of everything that are in these bags in the description box down below so that you can refer to that later on if you need to but I'm going to show you what's in the baby's bag now Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is how I've set up the little outfits. Basically, what I've done is put them into sandwich bags of outfits rather than having like three vests just hanging out in the bag or whatever. What I've basically done is separated each set of clothes into these little sandwich bags from Ikea. I've literally put in here exactly what is going to be in the bag. So here you'll see that I've got a star baby grow, a white vest and a blue hat. That is one outfit for the baby, so that is just, Ash can just grab that out and that is everything the baby will need to wear. Then again, I've got another one, which again is a white baby grow, white vest and a baby hat. And then I've got another, which is a striped baby grow, white vest and a spare vest. I've got four vests in total and three baby grows. And then I've also got a, another, like, coming home outfit, I guess. I don't know if we're going to bother with the whole coming home outfit thing, but I've got it here just in case. Um, and it's got a baby Robinson vest. So the vest that I actually posted, and I'll put a little picture up here, the vest that I posted about when I announced my pregnancy on Instagram it is that vest. So that is the one that is in here. Baby Robinson It's obviously Ash's last name. So yeah, it just thought it'd be really nice um, to have that there. It's a little bit big, so I'm not sure it's going to fit him, but we've got it anyway. It's also got a little um, jungle outfit that I've shown you in a previous video I'm pretty sure and also a cardigan chunky cardigan for him just in case it's cold and some little baby socks as well all of the baby grows that I've got I've got like integrated mittens and um, integrated feet so I haven't bothered with socks and mittens and stuff for those ones in total I've got five vests which is actually quite a lot I only meant to pack four but I've packed five so whatever three baby grows two hats and then an outfit for him to come home in um, which is just like some like chill leggings, um, a top and then the knitted cardigan as well. But yeah, so I've got lots, plenty of clothes for him basically. All of the clothes are in newborn size. We've been told a million times that I've got a fairly small baby. He's, on, he's measuring about the 10th centile. So I'm pretty confident he'll fit into that. If he doesn't, we literally live 10 minutes away from where I'm gonna be having the baby. I think we'll be absolutely fine with the stuff that we've got. Next up, I have two muslins, which I've also popped in a little sandwich bag. Two muslins there. These are like the muslin squares. And then I've also got a swaddle muslin, bigger one, um, to go with that. So that is all good. My next IKEA sandwich bag has got changing stuff. So we've got um, nappy bags, we've got barrier cream, and we've got some wipes. So I doubt that I'll actually need the barrier cream, but I've got it there just in case. Um, and the wipes are the Audi. 99% water ones, so they're like the water wipes, but the Audi version, so, so cheap, and they're biodegradable, so I've got those as well. My hospital also provides the cotton wool and hot water, so 
I have everything that I need to change for the baby. Obviously, I also have a pack of nappies. These are the pack of 24 nappies that come in the bounty packs. These are the Asda ones. Um, I am actually going to be using the Audi uh, nappies going forward, but these are actually just a little bit smaller and they're the newborn size, so I've got those. Then I've got the Aptamil ready to feed bottles. So these are formula bottles that are ready made and they have got the sterilized teats on them as well um, that you can just use from newborn straight away. I am probably going to. Um, um, give colostrum if I can um, in whilst I'm in hospital but I've got these just in case I need to um, and my midwife said they're absolutely fine for me to bring this I'm just gonna take this it's only a little pack and doesn't take up too much space Last but certainly not least is the thing that the baby is going to be coming actually home in, which is literally the most important thing. I've shown you this before, it is our car seat. It's absolutely essential. They're not gonna let you go from home from the hospital without this. So I've got our car seat ready. Um, the base and everything is fitted in the car already. Um, and then I've also got my blanket here. This is just a cellular blanket that I got from the Little Green Sheep. It's so adorable and it's really, really well made. And it actually matches the um, car seat, which I didn't even do intentionally, but I really, really love it. It's such a good quality blanket and it's gonna keep him nice and cozy on his way home. We haven't set this up yet, but this is also gonna be in the car when he does come home. It's a little mirror, it just goes above so you can see him when you're driving but yeah that's just in the car seat because that's Ash's job to do that's everything that I've taken in the baby's hospital bag so let's move on to what's in my hospital bag I'm just taking this carry-on bag something that you'd take on as like cabin luggage or um, hand luggage into a plane basically first and foremost the most essential thing that you're gonna need for your hospital bag is obviously your maternity notes so I've got everything in here it's literally just my notes I'm obviously not going to show you the front these are my notes um, this is like the most essential thing that you're going to need when you're going into labor so if you're going to remember anything this is the thing to remember I've got that right at the top of my hospital bag and obviously if I have any appointments before I go into labor which I do I've got loads um, then I just take it out of the top and then pop it back straight back in there when I'm back so that is the most essential thing I also just have a little bag of change for the car park because I never have coins so I thought I would have a little bag of that just in case we don't have any in the car on the day or something like that so that is in the top of my hospital bag in the front compartment then Ash and I just have a phone charger each so I've got an iPhone he's got a Samsung so we've got two chargers each these are just spare chargers that are in there already so we don't have to worry about last minute packing I then also have some wireless headphones because I'm doing hypnobirthing and I really want to be able to listen to my hypnobirthing tapes um, and not have any wires or whatever just hanging around or have to blur it into the room. I really like the idea of having these um, so that I can just zone out and it also muffles like talking and things like that, other noises. So I'm really happy that I've got these. You guys know I'm doing hypnobirthing and I've just absolutely loved using these when say my neighbours are being a bit noisy or something like that. I can pop these on and it will zone me out and it's just perfect. So I feel like these will be really good in labour as well or early labour at least. Ash has just got a spare pair of clothes for himself. I'm not going to go into too much detail on those because that's obviously his stuff. But then into my stuff, we have two sets of PJs, both of which are 90s. I've got one here that just says arriving in 2020. This is a Boohoo one. Obviously, it is a maternity fit so it goes over the bump and is quite long still so that's perfect for me then i've got this other maternity one which is also like a nursing um set of pjs i don't know if you can see this is from lillian ribbon it's actually gifted to me um and i'm really really grateful it's such a good idea it's got like maternity little flaps there if you are going to be breastfeeding but i really like the color of this and it is really nice and comfy i've worn this quite a lot during my pregnancy so yeah i've got that as well two sets of pjs for me then i've just got a set of socks um just because a lot of people say to take socks or slippers and i thought i would just take these socks these are just some like cozy warm socks that I might like um, if my feet get cold or something. I feel like I will be quite hot, so I'm not sure if I'll actually use these, but at least I've got them just in case. But for sort of walking around and taking showers and all that kind of stuff, I actually have these flip-flops and these did come in the Yummy Mummy hospital box that I got gifted. Like I said, these are just some average um, flip-flops for the showers, that kind of thing. So I think they'll come in handy. Then moving on to toiletries. I've got my toiletries for like during slash before birth. Um, and then I've also got a little pouch of things for postpartum or post birth, which I'll go into in a minute. The things for like my toiletries, I've just got in this little 
carrier thing that I can take to the showers or whatever with me. I have plenty of space in there to put my um, flip flops in as well, so that's all good. I'll just go in and show you exactly what I'm taking in terms of toiletries. So I've got a toothbrush for myself and Ash, which I haven't opened, no need to. I will just open those when we need them. And then a little sample toothpaste as well, which is perfect. I've just got a roll on deodorant. And then I've got two little samples of some shower gel. So this is body wash and then this one is cream. Touch of luxury because I feel like these ones are going to be really nice. They came in the Yummy Mummy hospital box as well. I'm also taking some cleanser. So these are my usual cleansers. That's for removing eye makeup just in case I have eye makeup on. Um, I'm not planning on putting eye makeup on but if I have it on when I go into labour then obviously I've got that to take it off. And then that is just a cleanser as well. I've also got some pads to actually like put the stuff on and use. Then got a little sample moisturiser to pop over the top once I've cleansed my face. Then I've got some lip balms. I've got one stick and one like fancier one. Depends on how I'm feeling I guess. But yeah two lip balms for me. I literally wear lip balm constantly anyway but a lot of people have said with the gas and air it's like essential to have lip balm so that's perfect. Also got a hand sanitizer because yeah, the, the world we live in. I probably would have taken this anyway, but yeah, hand sanitizer. I then have a little mini travel hairbrush that I think will be handy if I just want to brush my hair, obviously. And then I've also got three types of hair ties because you never know what mood you're in. You might be in a scrunchy mood and you might be in just a normal mood or you might just need like a thin one. I don't know. I've got three different types of hair scrunchies just in case one snaps or anything like that. The extra things I've got in there is in this special pouch. So this is actually, again, something that came from the Yummy Mummy Hospital box. And here I have like the luxuries, I would say, things that I don't need, but I actually think are really nice touches and I will definitely be reaching for during slash after labor if I remember or feel like I need to, that kind of thing. So first off, this is actually from Home Bargains, but this is a refreshing cooling mist that I've seen lots of people um, go on about. Basically, it's um, a can of water that you spray on yourself and it is really, really refreshing. Um, I used this when it was really, really hot um, recently and I just think in labour if you're hot, this is the perfect amount of water that you want to be spraying on yourself kind of thing. So it's 89p from Home Bargains, I thought. I'll give that a go, you know. In the hospital box, these three things I just thought were really awesome. So I've got three straws here, um, obviously because if you have like a cup of water in front of you, then you can use your straws instead of like tipping your head back and like all that kind of stuff. Three straws, I thought that was um, a really good idea. Then I've got this eye mask to help me try and zone out. If I imagine like me with this on and then my headphones on, trying to zone out and listen to my hypnobirthing or my relaxing music, that kind of thing, that I just thought would be perfect. And then I've also got these space masks. So I don't know if you've ever heard of these. These basically, you take them out and they heat up and you put them on your face. Um, I think they go on your eyes actually, yeah go on your eyes and they just like apparently take you to another dimension I mean anything to relax you in labour right so I've got these as well um, like I said they heat up and I thought that would just be nice if I am trying to relax and it's quite difficult in those circumstances. Along the same vein as the straws I'm also going to be taking this water bottle which is um, basically a water bottle that's got a straw like inserted in it and it's also um, metal so it obviously uh, either will keep your drink warm or cold depending on what you put in. Um, I'm very likely to have like ice cold water in this. I always have like one of these in the fridge so I've got this in my hospital bag already. Then something that I didn't think I would need or want to take with me to hospital but I'm going to take anyway is this dressing gown. So this is also from the Yummy Mummy Hospital box. It says mummy on it which is so so sweet but it's also a towel material so I just thought that would be perfect for like when you're coming in and out of a shower or the birthing pool or whatever. Um, I thought the material was really nice. It's not like a hard... Um, it's, it's like a really soft towel material as well, so I'm really, really happy with this. I've put this in the wash and it is all ready to go. No fluff is falling off of it. I'm ready for it. The only thing about this is it's white. I know it's white. It's not ideal, but oh, I love it so much that I just thought might as well be comfortable and ruin it. Um, and if it's not ruined by the end, then maybe I can keep it. But I'm really, really happy that I've got this. It saves me from taking a towel with me and also I've got a dressing gown or something comfy that I can just walk around in if I need to. Then just moving on to post-birth stuff. So I've got coming home outfit stuff and then postpartum recovery stuff. If you are interested in seeing everything that I've got for my postpartum recovery or my post-birth recovery for like the downstairs area kind of thing, then definitely check out my Instagram stories. On my highlights, I've done 33 weeks plus and on there you'll see that I've actually included everything that I'm gonna be using post-birth in terms of recovery. 
but I'm taking some of it to hospital with me. So, obviously, the main thing is a pack of maternity pads. This pack of maternity pads, just from Boots, it's got 10 in there. I also have a peri bottle, which is basically something that you put warm water into, not hot, not cold, but warm water. You pop that lid on and then you um, kind of pop it down there when you're going to the toilet and spray the warm water onto your wee and it will dilate your wee and yeah, just be a lot more comfortable instead of it stinging. Um, apparently that happens, so uh, anything that you can do to negate that. I think is a good shout. You can just use like a jug with warm water or something, but actually this takes up less space and I just thought, you know what, this is something that I think I will use um, for the first few times I go to the toilet. Just, yeah, hopefully it helps anyway. <laughs> also have some disposable underwear in my trusty Ikea sandwich bags. Um, the, there's like five pairs in there. These are like mesh underwear um, and I can put the maternity pads in there and just chuck it all away afterwards rather than having to like wash underwear like I'm just not gonna do that I'm just gonna chuck it all away <laughs> and that is gonna be it to go on top of my maternity pads I've also got these witch hazel pads which um I've again spoken about in my stories on Instagram if you wanted to check those out basically witch hazel is really good for healing and cooling down there after birth all that kind of stuff it's actually hem for hemorrhoids as well um hopefully I won't get that but uh if I do then I've got the witch hazel pads which are all like soaking in the witch hazel in there so I can pop those on the maternity pads and hopefully that will give me a bit of comfort. Another thing in my recovery kit I've got the bottom up spray from the natural birthing company and this is like recommended by midwives and stuff it basically numbs the area there's loads of different brands that do it I think um, there's expert midwife or something along those lines that do it as well but this one was cheaper <laughs> and um, I just thought this would be really good for after birth and just helping ease the discomfort down there if you do tear or have stitches or anything really so that is another thing that I've got then I also have some breast pads um, just in case my milk comes in I've got a couple that are um, reusable in there and then a couple that are disposable I don't think I'll need many to be honest because your milk doesn't really come in until like day three or day four but um i've got them anyway just in case all of my post birth stuff is in this little rucksack thing um so that i don't have to get it like mixed up with my other toiletries so yeah that is everything for my post birth and then it's just my coming home outfit i guess i really don't care what i'm gonna look like at all um after this so i've just chosen the most comfortable and i kid you not they're the most comfortable joggers you'll ever know these are from tesco years ago but these are so soft and i swear they've got better range they don't even have like the string to tie them in anymore because they're so old but i love them so much they're so stretchy and the most comfortable thing on earth if i'm on my period this is what i'm wearing so i think this is gonna be perfect for coming home in after baby then i've just got a black t-shirt um this is actually a maternity one so if I did want to breastfeed or whatever then I could because it's got these little flaps you probably can't see because it's black um, but it's got these little flaps that I can easy access it's all good then I've just got this maternity bra that I'm going to be taking obviously I'll be wearing a bra there anyway I'm probably going to be wearing a sports bra um, the, the ones from Primark that I always 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 wear um, so I'll probably be wearing that on the way there and then I'll have this for on the way back it's like a nursing bra thing so I can use that if I want to and then I've also got a cardigan in case it is a little bit chilly again I'm not going to be wearing anything exciting <laughs> because I would have just had a baby so that kind of makes sense to me last but not least we're going to be taking this card with us and it's actually again from the yummy mummy hospital box and it actually says I wrote this when I met you now you're 18 so it's something that we can write in me and Ash can each write in and give it to the baby when he's 18 so we've got this completely blank card I'll have a side Ash will have a side obviously got a pen as well that's just in the front of the suitcase um, and we can just write whatever we want to write um, and and then have that ready for when he's 18 that kind of thing so we just thought that was such a sweet touch that can just be a really special thing for him to have when he's 18 so yeah I popped that in the front of the case and we can do that if we have the time to do it at the hospital the only other thing that I think I might consider taking is my pregnancy pillow that's only if I'm still at that stage of labor where I'm early it's in early labor and I still want to be like as comfortable as possible doing my hypnobirthing but if I'm in like fully active labor and you know pretty much ready to go then I'm not going to bother taking it so yeah I think that'll be a last minute decision obviously it won't fit in the suitcase or anything like that but uh yeah I think that's not an essential anyway it's just, it would just be nice the last thing is snacks 
the snacks that we've chosen to bring, we've done like sweets and then we've done drink and then we've done like a more substantial type of snack. First of all, we've got the raspberry Lucozade drinks and I swear to God, these are my hangover cure drinks. I, like they are just perfect. I love the taste of them and they cure a hangover like straight away, give you that boost of energy. I think I might love this in labour, I might hate it, who knows, but I have definitely felt very hungover and very sick and had this and felt fine and been like, right, get me to McDonald's. So <laughs> I'm really hoping that that will do the same trick in labour and it won't make me feel sick. Next up we have some Fruitellas because I like a, I like a fruity sweet. Um, yeah, so Fruitellas, I mean, come on. Can't, can't mind that, something to chew, perfect. My favourite sweet of all time is Percy Pigs. But we don't have an M&S anywhere near us and I've recently discovered Henry Hippos. Henry Hippos are from Lidl and they are a dupe of the Percy Pig and I've had dupes in the past and it's never the same and they're never good enough. But these are really close and actually obviously a lot cheaper than Percy Pigs and we have a Lidl near us. It's taking every bit of restraint for me to not open these right now but it's for labour, it's for labour. Then just for a bit more of a substantial snack, we have some breakfast bars. So we've got like some hobnob biscuit bars, snack bars, and then some breakfast bars as well. Okay guys, that is absolutely everything that I'm gonna be taking to hospital with me. I'm sure there's something that I've forgotten, so please let me know down in the comment section down below if you think, oh my God, you haven't remembered this really essential item, but I hope that I've covered everything. I've covered everything that was on my list anyway. I'll make sure that list is down in the description box down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys, bye.